got one, two, three, four, and five. Fighting on the bottom, grass on top. If I try wine, what do you suggest? I mean, it depends on like what your like taste is. Um, Cause like, I don't, I'm, <laughs> I like sweet wines exclusively. <laughs> I don't like, like, I don't like red wines. Um, I don't like non-sweet white wines. I'm, I'm a Moscato girl. That's, you know, I'm not going to be, I'm never going to be a rosé all day kind of person. Or if I haven't become that, I'm going to hate myself. But, um, yeah, I just kind of, I, I'm, I like sweet stuff. <laughs> so I personally like a Moscato um, or rosé or like a sweet white wine. But, yeah. <laughs> um, or you can just go straight, straight to a goon bag, you know, if you really don't care and you just want to like, get the wine over with. <laughs> <coughs> but I think it's definitely the kind of thing that's going to take time. You've kind of got to try a few things before you figure out what you like. Every time I go and visit my parents, they're both like red wine people, they like a good like Shiraz. Um, and they're like, do you want a glass? And I'm like, have you, ha have you been paying any attention <laughs> to what I am drinking? <laughs> you have Daisy's help for uh, full art. What? Wine is not just bitter juice. But also I definitely drink more juice than I do wine. Um, I don't have wine very often. I honestly don't drink very often these days. Peter Chichi. I was doing so well without being brought in. <laughs> Kangas Khan EX. I don't drink wine, I just watch the F1. As I bought my dad um, some of the House of the Dragon, like special edition wines um, for his birthday, because I went in. He used to love Game of Thrones. So I was like, yo, there, I'll go. I'll get him some of these. I don't know if they were any good. I was just like, it's it's an easy buy, you know? <laughs> and they looked really cool. Like, collab alcohols, especially with, like, any sort of, like, medieval fantasy series, always look really cool. Like, they're the kind of things you don't even want to drink. You just want to, like, display on a shelf. Um, yeah, good times. It's wine 30 socks. Oh god, no. I don't think I've ever owned a pair of socks that has wine written on them. Um, I think the only only pair of, like set of clothes that I have that have wine on them is I ha I bought a pair of pajamas from Costco. Um, just cuz I there's something about Costco pajamas. They're like really soft. Um, and like really comfy and it had a bunch of different stuff. It had like popcorn on it and like fries on it. And I didn't realize until after I got home that it's all like, all of the stuff on it is like Costco branded. Um, so they have like a Costco branded wine on it. It's like someone sitting in a shopping cart with a bottle of wine. <laughs> it's very funny. Kinsler's whiskeys are pretty good. I assume they're not around anymore. I assume they're all sold out. Cody, afternoon. That's the other thing that kind of sucks with collabs, though, is that if, if it's something you really like and you realize you really like it after the collab, then you, <laughs> congrats, you're never going to get it again. You have a Blastoise EX. Have <laughs> you put on your colorful socks? This is, this is a colorful, fun sock stream. Magic up Pidgeotto and a Marowak. Uh, no, no, I think that means you need to see yourself out, Tim. We welcome everything other than oh, ankle gonna, length white socks. I mean, yeah, that's, that's where I join in. Come on, we have different lengths. <laughs> I feel like white socks are so impractical as well. Like, I own white socks to match certain outfits. 
but like on a daily basis, like why it gets so dirty? Like not worth it. I feel like if you're gonna have a standard color of sock, like I feel like black socks is way more practical. Blastoise EX. And I also always feel like black socks are way more comfy. Yeah, wearing plain black socks daily is insane. Jesus. Caterpie, Jigglypuff, and Bill's transfer for art. I'm just gonna face the wall from the rest of the show, I think. <laughs> I think that's just- You don't need to see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I think I'm good now. Yeah, people who wear white underwear scare me too. I think the only time I bought white underwear was, <laughs> I, it was not long after I did my Toad cosplay at the first PAX I ever went to, which was 2019. Um, and someone sent me a really funny video that someone had made of, I don't remember exactly what was happening, but it was essentially like an animated Yassified Toad. Um, it was like regular oh, toad, but it had really long legs and it was doing like like whacking, dancing. And there was this really funny like voiceover that went over the top. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm in my cursed cosplay era. I'm going to recreate it. So I went and bought white undies to do that. So I could like have some sort of like white pant to use as a base. Um, <laughs> and then I never made it. <laughs> never happened. <laughs> I like really wanted to do it but I was living with my parents at the time and finding a time of day when there was good lighting in the house and my parents weren't home um, was very difficult because filming that kind of thing when they were home like I wouldn't have been able to do it <laughs> it was too like unhinged Arcanine, Rapidash and Venusaur EX my, my left eye is starting to water is that normal? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens to me every other week. Um. That's the least cursed reason for white underwear. <laughs> I mean, for a costume, it does make sense. Um. Actually, no, I think I repurposed them when I needed to do my Emma Frost cosplay. Um, so, like, they did get used eventually, but, like, you know, not, not for their original purpose. But that's okay, we're re-entering <laughs> Cursed Cosplay <laughs> spot. Oh no! <laughs> we have Arcanine Duju and Mr. Mime. Secret Aria. I love this card so much. <laughs> so much. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Bulbasaur, Graveler, and Mew EX. Yeah, my socks are so boring, it's making me sad. My allergies might be depression. <laughs> Mine is like, if it's watering and I'm not sad, it's hay fever. Um, but that hits even sometimes when it's not like a particularly hay fevery day, so it's sad. Cody, you weren't, you weren't supposed to tell. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell. A secret's exposed. Depression, it's like hay fever for the soul. Abra, Voltov, and Giovanni's charisma for lots. Bulbasaur, Sandslash, and Beedrill. Growlithe, Charmander, Secret Aura, and Mewtwo. Don't you write these things down? Yeah, on, on, on my socks. <laughs> on your socks? You just can't see them. Shout out to anyone with depression. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be a roll call, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Oh no. <laughs> uh. I 
I, I do write them down, but I have them in cookie form. I call them misfortune cookies. Aww. <laughs> Present. <laughs> Present. <laughs> uh. Oh, did you steal an Omastar? Does anyone else get a, a, a jolt of shame whenever Ivan says the name, or is it just me? I, I get a, a jolt of anxiety anytime someone says my name. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm just like, oh, God. I think it's just like, I don't know. It's the, oh, shit, what have I done? <laughs> it's like being called to the principal's office, but you don't know what for. Yes. It's like, oh, what, what did I do wrong? What, did I, what have I done? <laughs> 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 You're like, what's this? Chewy bit in the middle. 